what's going on in the housing market in North Hills, California, 91343. Stay tuned, watch this video. We're gonna go over everything that happened last year or within the last 12 months, and we're also gonna see what's coming up this coming year. Today is July 1st, 2024, let's get started. All right, here we are. This slide here is showing us the area that we're gonna cover. Everything in orange here is covering the 91343 area code. And what I wanted to point out here is the highest price home that sold, sold for $1,750,000. The average sale price in this area in all of North Hills is $954,727. And then the median sales price is $915,000. Now this is up 6.4% over the last 12 months. So what's the difference between the average sale price and the median sale price? I'm gonna give you a quick example. If we have 15 homes that sold in a specific time period, uh, and a specific area. We take those 15 homes, we add up all of the sales prices for all of those homes, and then we divide it by the number of homes. In this case, we're looking at 15 homes. Uh, the average price is that number. Now, if we want to look at the median sales price, that's a little bit different. So we take those same 15 homes, we take the highest price, or the highest sales price, in this case, $1,750,000, and we take the lowest sales price. Let's say it's $750,000. Now what we do is we take those 15 homes and we look directly in the middle and that is considered the median sales price. All right, let's move on here. In this slide, we are looking at some of the base, basic statistics of the area. Uh, 189 homes sold in the last 12 months. Currently, there are 15 homes on the market and there are nine homes that are pending sale. Let me see. You might be able, here we are. All right, there are nine homes that are pending sale. That pretty much means that the home was for sale, uh, an offer was accepted, and now the home is under contract waiting for escrow to close. Some other important uh, um, statistics here are days on the market. In this area, homes are sitting for approximately 26 days. So almost a full month, the homes are sitting on the market before they go under contract. All right, let's move on. We've already looked at these numbers here. We looked at the highest price, the median sales price, and the lowest price. The lowest priced on these actually, on, on, on homes in this area, the lowest priced home sold was $627,000. Now that is actually up 2% from last year. And by the way, the homes that we're looking at here, these are all single family homes. We're not going through townhouses. We're not going through condominiums. These are all single family homes. All right, some fast facts for North Hills, California. There are 11 new homes that just hit the market. Now, new homes, this blue icon means homes that are newly placed on the market within 30 days. We have four homes that are also on the market, but those homes have been on the market for more than 30 days. So we actually have a total of 15 homes on the market, nine homes that are pending sale, that's just waiting for escrow to close, and then uh, 189 homes that have already sold in the last 12 months. All right, some more important numbers here. We've already talked about days on the market being 26, that's average. And then the average list price per square foot is $556 per square foot. That is up from $511 last year. And then the average sold price per square foot is $566. So it's a $10 difference. So a home is, putting, a home is being put on the market for approximately $556. Uh, dollars per square foot and then when it goes for sale or when it actually is sold it actually send, sells for ten dollars more so that's good news for all you sellers out there uh, pretty much we're looking at 101 percent 101.6 percent of the asking price is what what the sellers are getting right here in this graphic we're looking at just a map of the general area and some of the actual numbers that we spoke about so we've got uh, 11 new homes that are active for sale, four active homes that are not new, but they've been, they've been sitting there for more than 30 days, nine pending and 189 sold. We're not gonna see all of these numbers here because the map is just too small, but that's the basic idea. All right, let's move on here. So this, this uh, graphic here shows the active homes for sale. Now we're not gonna see all 15 of them. This graph is only gonna show us the most recent eight homes that have been listed for sale. So let's take a look at these here. We've got uh, three bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom. So it's, it's a mixture between three and four bedrooms and we do have one five bedroom home here. 
Uh, list price on these is going anywhere from, it looks like uh, 899,000 and all the way up to 1,249,995. So we get an idea here and then on this uh, column here, we see the price per square foot and the days on the market. Let me move, move this down a little bit. You're gonna see the average um, price per square foot is this number here, right? In the uh, mid fives is where it's gonna be. All right, let's move on. This slide here is showing us the active homes that are for sale. These are the last eight. This is just a graphic or uh, pictures of the front of each of those homes. And then we move on to pending homes. These are homes, like I said, these are homes that uh, were for sale. An offer was accepted. Now they're under contract, just waiting for escrow to close if everything goes well. And these are those eight homes, three and four bedroom homes, square footage anywhere from looks like 1200, I'm sorry, uh, 1,191, going all the way up to, it looks like this is the, here it is, 2,170 square feet. Got the list prices, uh, price per square foot, days on the market. I'm going through this a little bit quickly because I don't want to waste your time. I know your time is valuable. And so I just want to get you these statistics pretty quickly. These are the graphics of the most recent eight homes that are pending sale. You can get an idea of you know, what they're listed for, what they look like in the front, and so forth. And by the way, if you would like more information on each of these homes, if you wanna see what these homes look like inside, I can send you the actual listing pictures of each of these homes if that kinda of helps you with what you might think your home might be worth. And by the way, if you would like a market analysis of your home, uh, my team and I would love to give you a market analysis, let you know what your home is, is worth, so that way when it comes time to put it on the market, we know exactly where to price it. Uh, this will get the home sold quickly and will put the most money back in your pocket. These homes here are the recent home sales. These are the last eight that have sold of the 189 that have sold in the last 12 months. Here they are, three and four bedroom homes. Here's the square footage, the list price and so forth. So there's that graphic right there. And then down here is the same homes, just we get to see the uh, picture of the front of each of these homes. And there it is. This graphic here sh shows the recent sales breakdown. It shows us the, uh, the top 25%, the bottom 25%, and everything in between. So actually I, I did that backwards. The top is down here and then the bottom is down here. So homes that sold for $850,000 or less, the, um, the, there were 47 of those. Homes that sold for more than $1 million, there were 47 of those. Everything in between, that's $850,000 to $1 million, 95 of those sold. And again, over here we see 26 days is the average days on the market for our area, North Hills 91343. Here's another graphic. It just shows the breakdown by bedroom count. Uh, one bedroom homes, only two of those sold. There aren't very many one bedroom homes. Um, and the average cost on those was $975,000. Five bedrooms plus, 10 of those sold. Average cost is $1,144,000. And then it, it right here in the middle is the three bedroom. That is the most popular. And that is actually the most popular home that is in North Hills, California. 109 of those sold. And the average cost on those was $912,447. All right, let's continue on here. Right here it shows this year versus last year as far as the breakdown goes, sale price to list price. Uh, from June of last year to the end of June this year, the average list price was 939,771 and the average sales price was 954. So that means homes were priced at a certain number, but sellers were getting more than what they were actually asking for, meaning that the seller got 1.59% more than their, than their asking price. Right here is where we see last year's numbers from June 2022 to the end of June 2023. And the average list price on these was 880,258. And the average sales price was 886,793. So in this case, they got almost one full percent more than what they were actually asking for last year. I'm sorry, the year before, 2022 to 2023. Okay, uh, 189 homes have sold in the last 12 months. Average sales price, 954,727. That is up from 886,793. 
and we talked about the days on the market 26 days so what does this mean for you it means if you're a seller your home value may be much higher than you actually thought so what i need for you to do is if you are thinking about selling your home <clears throat> please reach out to me and my team we would love to give you a market analysis on your home we can tell you exactly what your home is worth and that way when you are ready to place the home on the market we'd love to help you with that as well we can price it exactly where it needs to be to put the most money back in your pocket and to sell it quickly so you can call us you can text us this is me this is my partner trisha garcia and here's our information 805-424-6226 and by the way if you are a buyer and you're looking to buy something in the north hills area or anywhere surrounding uh, please reach us reach out to us as well we'd love to help you find that home and this isn't uh, only uh, specific to North Hills if you are someone that would like to sell your home and you're outside of North Hills that's perfectly fine we service anywhere in the San Fernando Valley anywhere in the Simi Valley and the Conejo Valley areas again my name is Steve Heiss the phone number for you to reach out to us is 805-424-6226 I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one thank you so much